Everybody, welcome back to part two of Glenn Sobel's rack build. And this time, we've got Glenn here. He, up, just, uh, he just came in, and um, we're going to give him a little walkthrough on what we've done so far. So, I'm loving it. Look at this. I love it when a plan comes together. Michael had this whole concept of uh, circular here. So what we wanted to do was have multiple rings on each side, but we still needed in the front for the, the bass drum heads to be able to be seen. We staggered them. Then we have your main crash, your china, and then auxiliary crash over here. The ring is being held up and uh, reinforced by these vertical pipes, but that's also a cymbal stand. Beautiful. What's also really Love cool it. is that this thing is going to be able to be just split right in half because you're playing on a two 4x8 risers, so Michael's just going to be able to split the riser in half. There's just this one little piece that locks them together. And remove that, you can split the whole riser in two. Easy load out, load in. That's what we gotta do for a lot of shows. The riser has to come in in two pieces. So now this side, we're just gonna basically duplicate everything that we did over here. But on this side, we got the, the 10 inch tom. We've got a crash on this side. So yeah, it's almost the same as this side, mm -hmm. with a couple exceptions. So far. There's no bass drum pedal in here yet. <laughs> cool, man. It's all exactly as I play it. The crash cymbals, the chinas, the far right crashes. Plenty of room on this side to do what we gotta do. The 10, the crash, the china, crash on this side. I'm digging this. Cool. <laughs> I'm loving it. It's gonna duplicate these pipes right here. These cuts, these lengths. Yeah. Same thing, right? Perfect. Yeah, I guess doing the first side is the harder thing because the second side you're just caught up. And then we've had success with. Uh, we'll have a short vertical pipe coming from the inner ring for the X hat. Yeah. The static hats. Yeah, X the static hats, which we have right here. Those will be in the usual spot wherever they come into. And then that stays as a straight stand. Straight it's stand. Not moved out. It can yeah. be, but it's probably, no, no, it's good it's probably in straight. place right where it is. That's and the cowbell will be somewhere in here. Mm -hmm. Get a cowbell in there. And Coming the, off uh, of this end of the ring here. It's important to not have to think about any of that, about stability or worrying if anything's in the same place, because it just is. With a rack like this, everything's locked in place, clamps, memory locks. It is guaranteed to be in the same place. And this is actually a much easier setup than having a bunch of stands too. People think it's the opposite. They think that it's a rack and it's a crazy weird setup and it's hard to get the same every time, but total opposite. Definitely this has to be a big rock sound. So that's why I want to start with a 12, 13 as my two main rack toms. I wouldn't want to go smaller than that. I have a 10 that will be up here, we call it the Flying 10. But that doesn't get used as much. It, it's 16, 18 floor toms. This is big arena rock. It's gotta be a big drum sound. I'll have the, the Sabian Legacy ride here. And the front two crashes will be uh, Paragon and uh, either a stage cr a crash or an AAX explosion crash, 20s. I'll have a 19 inch AAX on this side and another 19 inch AAX or stage crash here. here the Holy Chinas, the double Holy Chinas, we're going to have room for those. That goes right here. Even enough everything on the other side. Yeah, it's, all, it's all coming together. Four oh, I can't forget the 14 inch floor tom on Couple the left. Three more. Yeah. We had the spider rack for three or four years. And so it, it, it came time to do a new rack. So it was like, okay, how do we top the last one? And there's always that friendly competition between drummers of having cool and unique setups. And I'm lucky on the Alice Cooper gig that that gives us the opportunity to do something unique and make a statement with a rack and not just have it be functional. Everybody wants to have their own voice with, with everything. So why not have it with your hardware too? That's right. Out. 
Make it a holder. Done. It's like 10 o'clock. We've been doing this for almost 14 hours. It's crazy. Deja vu, four years ago. <laughs> I can't wait. This is going to be up on the five foot riser, so the whole circular thing is going to be eye level to everybody at least. And uh, that's going to be amazing. Let's not forget the uh, leather studded bass drum hoops by DW. <laughs> I mentioned that, right? Yeah. So, what we did in the front here is we created um, our bottom tier, which connects to the support up here because you can basically split this entire rack right in half. The, the riser is going to be um, connected right here in the center. It's two 4x8s and um, this center bar goes all the way around the, the length of the back of the kit. The same with the floor tom side. So we created an inner tier on the inside so that we could actually mount all the stuff that we need to mount close. We've got um, his 10 inch rack tom over here so we get close enough to it. We've got a splash, we've got his main crash on his left hand side right here, and we connected it together so uh, it would be a little bit more sturdy so he's not beating the hell out of it and then it falls over one of these days because all the weight is way up top. This feels nice and secure. Now that's, that's the biggest concern is the stability, and I feel confident with this. And then on the floor tom side, it's pretty much identical. We were, we've got the three stair step staggered rings going vertically, and then we have the inner tier. And how many memory locks did we use on this? <sighs> oh my gosh, I think we, the used, most ever, we used full, did we break the record? We used 90 memory locks, Nine, close to 100. Like 94. Did you think we'd use that many today? No. I've never no. used that many memory locks Sorry. anything. Sorry. <laughs> Leave it up to Glenn. I used up all your memory locks. <laughs> Look at this, I'm stoked. That's it. And that's it. Thanks for watching.